hey you, watch this. Subscribe. You know, if I told you that I don't eat cheese anymore because I'm lactose intolerant, but I love cheese and it tastes good, but it makes me sick when I eat cheese. You love cheese too, and I have nothing against that, but you hate me for not eating cheese, even though you know the exact reason why I don't eat fucking cheese. That is exactly how I feel about the whole national anthem controversy. You know why they're doing it. You know the message. Yet you still downplay the motivations and replace it with your own explanation. You know, there are some things that are open to interpretation. The movie Mother, the movie Inception, the ending of Lost. Everybody has to die sometime, kiddo. <laughs> I'm still crying about that. Let me start from the beginning. I did a lot of research for this video and there's gonna be a lot of names. I might say them wrong. I'm sorry, I can't read. August 14th and August 20th. Colin Kaepernick just sits down during the protests in a preseason NFL game. He does this for two games and nobody notices until the third game. The only reason no one noticed because he wasn't in uniform during the first two games. Then on August 26th, it finally gained attention. Remember when Colin finally gained attention about his protest when he got on the top ropes and raised his middle fingers, raising hell? Wait a second, that was Stone Cold Steve Austin. All it took was one picture from Jennifer Lee Chan, no relation to Jackie Chan. Lee! Kata! Kaepernick took the media by storm. August 28th, two days after the game, he met with the media to explain his actions. He said he was acting on giving a voice to those who didn't have one. I'm going to read his speech in entirety as fast as I can so this video isn't like 20 minutes. I'm going to continue to stand with people that are being oppressed. To me, this is something that has to change. When there's significant change and I feel that a flag represents what it's supposed to represent and this country is representing people the way that it's supposed to, I'll stand. This stand wasn't for me. This is because I'm seeing things happen to people who don't have a voice, people who don't have a platform to talk and have their voices heard and affect change. So in the position where I can do that and I'm going to do that for people that can't, it's something that can unify the team. It's something that can unify this country if we have these real conversations that are uncomfortable for a lot of people. If we have these conversations, there's a better understanding of where both sides are coming from. I have a great respect for men and women that have fought for this country. I have family, I have friends that have gone and fought for this country. They fought for freedom, they fought for the people they fought for liberty and justice for everyone. That's not happening. People are dying in vain because this country isn't holding their end of the bargain up as far as giving freedom and justice, liberty to everybody. That's something that's happening. I've seen videos, I've seen circumstances where men and women that have been in the military have come back and been treated unjustly by the country that they have fought for and have been murdered by the country they fought for on our land. That's not right. From this point he got joined by his teammate Eric Reed, which I'll talk about later on, Jeremy from the Seattle Seahawks, Megan Rapeno from the soccer team in Chicago called Red Stars, Denver Broncos linebacker Brandon Marshall, the Seahawks, the Dolphins, the Chiefs, and Patriot players on 9-11. Oh hell no! Now it's important to point out that the Seahawks and the Chiefs did not actually kneel or sit down during the anthem. They simply stood with their arms linked in unification as a way of another silent peaceful protest. All of the Garfield High School football players followed by all of it culminating and Colin Kaepernick being on the cover of Time Magazine and an article inside about him. It even crosses over into the NBA, Celtics, the Knicks, and the Rockets all stood in unity during the national anthem. Singer Leia Ticey, probably said that wrong, took a knee while singing the national anthem. You'll never work in this town again. Now here we are. Colin Kaepernick is not signed to any team. Click the link in my bio to check out my video, how I felt about that. And the season has begun. At uh, this video from just moments uh, ago. A number of players uh, from the Baltimore Ravens and the Jacksonville Jaguars uh, playing uh, at Wembley Stadium in London, uh, taking the knee. Even the President of the United States has had something to say about this. When somebody disrespects our flag, 
to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now. Out. He's fired. As you can see, if this was one ignorant person who thought this way, it probably wouldn't keep going. But this is how a lot of people feel about the protests. That it's wrong, that it's disrespectful towards the flag, that it's disrespectful towards the military, and that people are trying to spit in the face of America when that is 100% not the point. Rather he knew it or not at the time, Colin Kaepernick opened up a lot of eyes in a very peaceful way to let people understand that there are issues in America that need to be addressed. Once again, this isn't one of those things that are open to interpretation. You know why people are kneeling during the national anthem. You know it's because of the racial injustice in America. No, it's in support of Black Lives Matter. It's, it's not open to interpretation. I mean, like, do you go to grocery stores? Like, why is this cheese here? Still talking about cheese. Why is this cheese here? You know what? I want this cheese by the Twizzlers. Is that $12.99? I'm just gonna make it $3. In Catholicism, which I am not, I just do my research, taking a knee at the altar before and after leaving worship is seen as a sign of respect, a sign of reverence. Eric Reed, which I told you I was gonna talk about later on, actually told the New York Times that it was actually his faith that moved him to take this action. He looked at James 2.7, which states, Faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. He knew that he needed to stand up for something that is right. He approached Colin Saturday after his first big media attention fiasco that happened right before the game, and they talked about things such as social injustice, systematic oppression, and things of that nature. And after a long, long talk, and a lot of careful consideration, and even a visit from Nate Boyer, a retired Green Beret and former NFL player. They came to the conclusion that they should kneel rather than sit during the anthem because kneeling is seen as a respectful gesture. He goes on in the article to talk about how he loves his country, but to quote the great James Baldwin who wrote about black struggle, exactly for this reason, I insist on the right to criticize her perpetually. It baffles him, it baffles me, it ba baffles Colin on why others have misconstrued the protest to be disrespectful and just mean-spirited when they chose it for the exact opposite. He says that he always had the understanding that the brave women and men who served this country and fought for this country did it so that people could have the right for rights like this freedom of speech, and freedom to protest. So now that I hope you understand why people are doing this, leave a comment and let me know how you feel about this whole kneeling and standing with the arms locked during the national anthem. How do you feel about it? Is it disrespectful? Do you think that you, under do you understand why they're doing it? Let me know how you feel in the comment section. If you like this video or any of my videos, hit the like button, share on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and most importantly, don't get a cold. I feel like I got a cold. My nose has been all stuffy, and I might sound funny on this video. But yeah, I'll see you in another video or something. Get your head down so you can just sit down and just sit still. Hey, we trying to have a good time tonight. Let's go, baby. Let's go.